Welcome to the League of XCOM, Season 3, Episode 7, Operation Morbid Dawn. Today's episode, the aliens have tried to set up a base on Earth, and we're gonna go kick them out of it, as well as hopefully capture some aliens. So, let's start off. On today's pro tip, you might remember me talking about there being 5-7 to seven aliens on small crafts. Well, today I'm here to tell you that I've been completely wrong. So, let's start off the mission. This mission is going to be pretty straightforward. I'm going to move my men in a line so that if the first move doesn't trigger any aliens, the rest of them shouldn't. And I'm going to keep trying in the back to give us some suppressing fire in case we run into anything. We're going to move to the left for that log for cover. We're going to give Trinomir some full cover, and we're going to move up the rest of the team up to the rocks. Once we're at the rocks, we're going to go left, because we know the aliens are on the right. And we don't really want to kill the aliens now, do we? No, in reality, this is kind of a bad spot to fight at, because it's all half cover. So we're going to go left. And we're going to set everybody to overwatch, and then next turn we're going to move again. Now we're going to move down to those logs. And we set everybody to overwatch once again. And the three angry floaters fly into our zone. We're going to start off by missing quite a few overwatch shots. But Trinimer is going to hit. And so will Riven. And then NASA's finally will kill one of them. Honestly, that's the best Overwatch shooting I've ever seen. We landed three out of the six shots and we got an alien and wounded another. I'm going to lead off with Trinimer to see if I can pop one of them. And we succeed with a headshot. There's one alien left, and I really would like to capture him. So, we move up NASA's to full cover, and lay down some suppressive fire. We move up Riven a little closer, so we can try to capture him next turn. And the rest of the squad is going to move on the other side of the log, so they're not flanked. And I'm going to have Singe do some shooting. He'll land 2 damage, reducing that floater to 1 life, which will make it perfect for capturing next turn. On the alien's turn, the floater doesn't do anything, but we have 3 more presents. Several overwatch, dealing 2 damage. And the floaters will run it for cover. Once again, I'm going to lead off with Trinomir. This time I won't use Headshot, but I won't need it. I'll fire a rocket with Nasus to take care of another one. I honestly thought I could get the one in the back, but that didn't happen. I've seen six floaters, so I don't think there's any more floaters on the map, so I run a gun singed. Well, I guess I was wrong. But hey, we totally got that alien. And finally we move up Riven and capture a floater. At this point, I'm thinking Singe is dead, but I'm going to do everything in my power to stop that. So I move up Sivir and throw a smoke grenade. The smoke grenade will hopefully protect them. Well, yeah, I didn't expect that. We're going to lead off the Trinomir again, and I'm going to shoot the floater at the very top. The rest of my squad most likely will not be able to shoot him. We're going to move Singe behind some actual cover. Oh, he's going to take a shot. Can't 
we move to Sever and do some shooting. And one rocket's a bit excessive, but I'm fairly confident there's only an outsider left because we've seen nine floaters now. It's time to reload and move up on the saucer and take care of the outsider. It's pretty boring, so I'm going to just skip through some of it. Also, guys, I'm thinking about doing a live stream tomorrow. Uh, it's going to start probably around 4 p.m. Western. And I'll make a Reddit post and I'll throw down a link in the description of this video. And if you guys want to actually see me play a live game, that will be a great opportunity for you to do that. As well as ask some questions and just make fun of my play. And that's going to be Sunday, February 9th, 2013. So if you're watching this video a little bit late, uh, you probably won't get to see me. But I could maybe do it again if there's enough interest. Okay, back to the mission. We're ready to move up to the craft and activate the outsider. Nasus moves up and sees this outsider. And the outsider promptly runs to us. Capturing the Outsider is going to be pretty huge, as we won't have to capture one later, plus it will give us another plasma rifle. So I'm going to try to do that. In order for me to do that, I'm going to have to move two people in there and shoot him down with a pistol, as any sort of fire might crit and kill him. So I'm going to lead off with Sivir, switch her over to the pistol, and take some fire. It's going to deal one damage, and that should be good enough for her. Now we're going to run and gun Singe and do the same. Switch over to the pistol and do some more shooting. That'll do two damage, put him to two life, making it so Riven will have an 80% chance of capturing him. So we're gonna move Riven and we're gonna activate the arc thrower. And with an 80% chance, it's great success. And so ends Operation Morbid Dawn. Back at base, Nasus picks up heat ammo as it allows us to take out sectopods and discs a lot easier early on in the game before we have plasma weapons. I also discover I can do light plasma rifle research. So yeah, we're going to go with light plasma rifle research. That means we won't have beam weapons for the terror mission, but I think we should be fine as the squad has plenty of experience. We go to the globe and start scanning. I feel like I'm forgetting something though, but I can't put my finger on it. Russia would like to have two nano vists, and they'll give us a cool 52 space bucks, so I'm going to build one for them. So we're going to go to the gray market and sell off all the useless junk we just got. I still feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh well, we're just going to scrap a bunch of stuff and make some vests. And I also need to build a satellite uplink, which will require 5 power. It takes 14 days to build an uplink, so I need 19 days in order to build the uplink and the power. And, as you might have guessed, I forgot to build the power, as I'll be 2 days short. This will make me salvage alien jail, so I have enough power to build one. I'm going to sell some Ilarium off, so I can build a generator also now. And we go back to the globe. Man, I still feel like I've forgotten another thing. Generator finishes. I don't know what it is I forget. And our new missions are up. I just kind of sold Alien Jail and I sold a bunch of stuff like Ilarium. So I'm kind of wanting cash. I feel like my engineer numbers are pretty good and my science is going pretty decently also. So we're going to be going for the money. And we get rid of the Arc Thrower because we don't have Alien Jail anymore. And now I remember that, hey... The Russians wanted those two vests. So, I'm going to sell off some alien alloys. I'm going to build the two vests. And I'm going to get 50 bucks. Join us next time for Operation Final Fist. And as always, if you haven't still done it, go ahead, create a Google account, and subscribe to my videos. As it actually helps me out a lot, because I make my videos for my subscribers. If there's something you didn't like about the video, let me know in the comments. And as always... Thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it.